<coughs> order in the church. Where is the church? Where is the church? It's in our hearts. Hallelujah. Do like this. Say, we are we the church. I'm the church. I am the church. I am here to do what I need to do for somebody to know who Christ is. Or they might not know. Listen, they might not know on your clock, but you planted a seed. The next clock, somebody else might come and water them. And it's God who do the increase. You don't see everybody that you, you might, somebody say, well, Pastor, I asked somebody to come to church, and they don't come. Keep asking. Because there are people coming. God is the one who do the increase. But if you ain't telling nobody, then you ain't doing your work. If you ain't helping nobody, then you ain't doing your work. James chapter 4, 1 through 11. And the word of the Lord reads, From whence comes war and fightings among, among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust, that war is your members? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, ye, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye adulterers and adulteress. Stop right there, because we think adulterers and, and fornication is going to have sex with another person only. No, 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 no. If I'm listening to the word of God, and going out in the world and obeying the world, that is adultery. Mm -hmm. That is fornication. Amen. God is telling me one thing, and I'm going out here and connecting to myself with the world and doing something else. That is adultery against my father. I was my husband that passed away. I was married. And before we got married, oh, the Lord told me two things happened that I just wanted to enlighten you about. We was the best of friends. The Lord had told me that I was going to bring him to him. Before we got married, we dated for three years. Yes, you can date somebody without going to bed with them. I did it for three years. And I had been there before. Hello, somebody. But I wanted to do it God's way. And so he got saved. He got called to the ministry. He got delivered from his substance. And at two years, he went home. Two years. We were married, and he died. And I said, God, mm -hmm. only two years? He said, this one about you. you amen. This was about you leading him to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This was about, so here it is, a lot of times, one thing, sometimes we meet the opposite sex. Oh, I just, I don't even know what to say the opposite sex nowadays. You don't know <laughs> the way things going. People, it don't matter what they get. So anyway, Hallelujah. we meet people not always to be able to sleep with them. Amen. We meet people because God got us something to do for them. <laughs> or they got something we need to be done. Yes. I don't need no, I, I love y'all, I promise you. But I don't need any other friend. Hello. I need to know what I can do for you and find out why I know you so I can get what I out of you. That's the purpose of me meeting you. Amen. What else for? I need, you need whatever's God to put in me so you can go forward. Hello, somebody. Not to just hang out. Okay, we might can have a good time out while we're getting there, but not just to just hang out. This ain't about no party. It's the Holy Ghost party. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost party don't stop. Yes. It keep going on and on. Hallelujah. Because people can keep getting help. People can keep getting delivered, saved, and set free. Yes. People know who they are, who they are, and where they're going. The Holy Ghost party don't stop. Hallelujah. So, when I got my husband, we got his tuxedo. He said, what am I going to get a tuxedo for? I said, baby, we should travel around the world. He said, I don't need a tuxedo. And once he got saved, he wanted all his friends to come to church. All, and he had a whole host of friends. So after two years, he had a heart attack and died. Jesus. And I was like, God. And then he said, now, let me show you how to have a wedding. Hallelujah. Do you know all of us is God's bride? That's right. And he's the groom. Yes. He said, put him on that same tuxedo mm -hmm. and watch me bring in his friends. Hey, God. Jesus. Watch me bring him in. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today, many of his friends saved just because. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all don't understand what Thank I'm trying to God. tell you. I got you. It's about God's purpose and yes. God's will. We get off track. 
Because we get off into our little feelings. I thought this thing was about me. It wasn't about me. It was about him. Now you can have fun while you're doing what he wants you to do. You can get some blessings and everything else. But when you do it unto the Lord, whatever you do, when you do it unto the Lord, baby, get ready. You ain't got enough room in your house to receive what God's going to put in your hand. Oh, yes, that's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. The God want to bless you. He want to give you. He love you so very, very much. The reason you are here in this country, not because Germany is so good, not because you needed to come here. God sent you here. God sent you here. So he got a purpose for you to be here. Many people got a whole lot of money, still can't leave America. Many people got a whole lot of money, still can't leave Africa. People in Germany want to go somewhere and they still cannot go. I don't care how you got here, God sent you here to do, to get, to give, to have a better way and to build his kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He loves you so very, very much. It's a plan set up just, he said, I have plans for you, for you to be great and in good health. Oh, I don't think y'all. I love God. You don't love God. What's wrong with you? I love God. You don't love God. What's wrong with you? Oh my God. He sent you to a place. He said, I don't want you to quarrel. Go finish that. Come on. See, our problem, this is how the enemy get us. We get, we, it's a sad indictment. I'm asking God for something, but I'm upset with the lady in the next row. <laughs> I got something else on my mind, but I want God to bless me. No, that's double-minded. That's double-minded. You're setting yourself up for danger. Amen. You have two heads going on inside of you. You, 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 I can't see, nobody can see your other head, but if you're listening to the Lord here and the devil there, you are double-minded. Amen. Amen. It don't work like that. You're setting yourself up for danger. Amen. Come on. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world mm. is in, in enmity mm. with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. <laughs> Do ye think that the scripture said in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusts to envy, but he giveth more grace? Wherefore he said, God resisteth the pride, but giveth grace unto the humble. Woo! Submit yourselves therefore to God. Mm. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be aff afflicted and mourn and weak. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. Oh. He that speaking evil of his brother oh. and Stop right there. Stop right there. You were saying too much because they can't get this, you know, got to chew this thing, chew this thing. Hold that, that hold that right there. Because see, people think they can talk evil of somebody they think it's okay. You think you have a right. You don't have a right. Stay right there. Stop right there. I want to rewind that a friend to the world. This is a friend to the world. I'm coming to church on Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But I can't wait to get out of here because I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Hello, somebody. Now, I'm one of these. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with having a good time. I'm one of these pastors. You all have a good time. But it's a way to do everything. Now, you in church. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now you at the party. <laughs> all your body, all your goods, everybody. Look at me, twerk, twerk. Everybody, anybody, anybody come on up there. And if a man's standing behind that, you are having dry sex. Yes, ma'am. I don't know if you know that, but let me let you know that you have just had sex with that person. Hello, somebody. 
You don't have to take off your clothes to have sex. So, I just heard the Lord said, present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. This is my reasonable service. The Lord said, at least you can do that. I done gave you everything you done asked me for. I done been there for you. I done been there. I mean, when you was in trouble, I came and got you. When you were sick, I healed you. When you was praying for mama, daddy, brothers, sisters, and children, I delivered and I was there for you. But yet, I said, you know, the Bible said, don't even give your jewels to the swine. Yes. We don't understand that. Amen. If a man and a woman is fornicating, my body is a jewel. Amen. And if this is not my husband, then I'm giving myself to a dog. Amen. I don't think myself with no respect. I have no respect for my own. God, it's two things I have that I have control over. Is my mind, body, and spirit, I take that as one, and my word. My word. If I said it, I should be able to follow my own. I should be, if you tell me you're gonna be here and you're not here one time, two times, three times, four times, chances are when you tell me something, I don't pay it no attention. Cause your word is, is like water, it's weak. I want my word to be strong. If I tell you something, I'm gonna die trying to do it. I'm serious, if I tell you something, I'm gonna die trying, cause that's my word. My word is important to me. Hello somebody. Now my body is even more important. I've been there, done that. I didn't know how, how precious and how I was a queen and how God loved me and he gave me everything. I didn't know how wonderfully and marvelously God had made me. I didn't know I was set aside to be special for somebody. I didn't know that. So I bopped and did and do and bop and don't. That's why I'm here, warning, don't go there. Don't go there. Now, I didn't get AIDS, thank you Jesus. Hello somebody. But I went through some things. I was a grandmama 35. I went through some things. Things happened that shouldn't have happened because I put myself out there. Now, today, it don't take that long for you to get your reward or your punishment. It don't take, we reap what we sow. Mm -hmm. Believe it, you ain't getting away with nothing. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in the bed with somebody that was somebody else's boyfriend mm -hmm. and husband. Mm -hmm. I got married and found a woman in my closet. Oh, Jesus. Now I ain't do nothing for my, to my husband, but because I did something back then, I had to pay for that thing. Yes, Lord, come back to you. It'll come back to you. Yes. You got people now wondering how come their child got AIDS. Do you remember when you had sex with somebody back there and you didn't know? Do you know that thing is still falling in your tree? You wonder how come your child, my child don't act like a little girl, it's a little boy. He don't act like a little boy, it's a little girl. Do you remember when you thought it was okay for you and that girl to be, hey! <laughs> you think that stuff cute. Even these little pictures y'all take, I don't, I, I, listen, I don't care how much y'all think this is a new season and it's a new time, the devil is still alive and away. Yes, yes. If I'm taking a picture with a girl and we doing all this, <coughs> that man that looking at that picture, ooh, them freaks. I need to meet them. Hallelujah. But if you want to set yourself up out loud like that, yes. go right ahead. Come on, if that's us. the kind of reputation you want, can nobody stop you? Yes. I can only give you the medicine. Hallelujah. It's up to you to take it. Hallelujah. 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 It's time out for playing church. Yes. It's time to be the church. Yes. Wherever you go, somebody need to know there's something different about you. Double-minded. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. If I'm standing before you and telling you all this, and you come to my house, and some strange man come out there that you ain't seen before, and pastor ain't told you nothing about that, and he in that house, <laughs> And I'm doing something that's and all of a sudden this man is in my life and I'm standing before you telling you, I'm gonna do it like this. I am double minded. I'm doing something and preaching something else. I'm hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. Hallelujah. God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to go farther. Hallelujah. He said, Don't 
Now, we, we, we talked about the body thing. But this is even worse when you're talking about your brother and your sister. When you're talking about your pastor. Lord have mercy. This is the, you know what the head do? The head feeds you. Hey! The head sees for you. Some of y'all don't realize how come y'all blessed. I promise you y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't understand that. If, if, matter of fact, if somebody tell me they've been in my life for a period of time and God has been blessing them, I'm going to tell you, baby, you need to go somewhere else because I'm not the one for you. I'm not the one for you. I don't want you in my life if you ain't being blessed. For what? I don't want you. If you, can't, if you cannot believe in my prayer, if you can't believe in what I said, choose. I'll see you on the rebound. Amen. Why? <laughs> Don't waste your time. Yes. Don't waste your time. Yes. But maybe sometimes we don't understand. I told you we can get off track. Maybe you got sidetracked. Baby, repent and get back. Don't keep going side to the left, to the left. Don't go to the left. If you know you've been blessed, and if you know there's something, if you believe when I said we were going somewhere, if you believe that, then all of a sudden the devil get your ear for a minute. Realize that that's not God. Cut that ear off and come back and get back focused. Because you're going to get left. Go, we're going to go. Amen? It's time out. Hallelujah. Feelings, feelings. Y'all know how them feel. The feelings, feelings, feelings. You know how you felt like you was in love and you were just lusting? You know how you thought you loved that man? You know how women are. Lord, help us. We be in love with Johnny. You see us next month. Good, Johnny gone. <laughs> we're like the, the, the wind, like the weather. We change like that. A man is different. If you get a man's love, baby, it's structure. It means if he if you hurt that man, either he's gonna become an alcoholic, he's gonna become a have so many bricks around him, you can't get in there, or he's gonna be he can even a man can be suicidal because his love is different than ours. It's different. But we are like, that's how come that devil tipped, tipped, tipped the Eve. He didn't go to Adam. He knew he couldn't get to Adam. He went to Adam's weakness, which was a woman. Hello, somebody. But women, we're like this. Oh, I like that curtain. There's a red curtain. I like, oh, no, pur purple? Oh, purple. Oh, no, green. I, oh, yeah. Oh, the orange. I don't know which one I want. All of them good. <laughs> but a man, this chair, y'all heard this example before. He don't care if this chair is blue. He don't care if it's red. He don't care if it's orange. If this chair will hold my family, if this structure will keep my family, I can paint the chair. It has nothing to do with the color. It has nothing to do with the look. It has to do with what it can do for my family. That's why the devil didn't go to the man. He knew better. He went to the woman. Women, we can be wishy-washy. Not because we want to, it's because that's the way we was made. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, keep reading. Amen. So let yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brethren, and judges his brethren, speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judgest the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. Mm. If I tell you my way instead of God's way, the Bible said that my ways, he says, no, he said, if trust in the Lord in all thy ways, mm -hmm. my way, my way ain't all the way it's supposed to be because I'm a human being. Your way ain't the way it's supposed to be. He said, trust in me with all thy ways. Lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Again, as your visionary, my telephone number is on every piece of paper that you get in this ministry. Every piece of paper, my number is there. If you need some understanding, if I said something today that you didn't get, please call me. Don't go out there and be a friend to your own. It can be you. Well, I don't like what Pastor said, so let me just do it like this, because I don't see that. 
This ain't about you. This ain't about me. If I tell you something and I can't show you in here, then you come pass it. You have to show because I don't understand that. You know, I need to see it here. And I can show you. Hello, somebody. I can show you so we can go forward. See, this is not where you come and listen to the Pope and then you just go and do what you want to do. No, 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 no. We are a word church. You come here and you get word that will help you. The minute you get this word, once you get outside that door, even before the devil is here to trick yeah. you, to tempt you, to take you off track. Yes, yes. Yo, you and your wife can be sitting looking at the same word, and your husband or your wife ain't in tune with it, and he telling you, oh, baby, we're going to do this. <laughs> in the church. In the church. Or you and your friends sitting up there. Girl, yeah, what time it is? I'm ready to go out with my hair done. This, this, that. You in the church listening to the word of the Lord. Do you know what you're listening to? Do you know why you're here? Double-minded. Don't ask God for nothing because you won't receive it. Again, Paris did not know that was going to happen to them. I don't know when I go out that door, am I going to make it home? I don't know. But I don't want to go with none of my stones unturned because I want my crowns. Hello, somebody. See, I know I'm going to heaven. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't a question. I know I'm going to help, but I want my stones, I want my pearls, and I want my children's children to be blessed because Mama stood together, baby. Mama said what she did, and she did what she said. Mama told the truth. Mama told it like it was. Mama didn't care. Mama sacrificed her life that they might have a better life. I want my children's children to be blessed. I want you, not them, I'm talking about y'all. I'm here because of you. God sent me for you. I want you to be blessed, baby. Uh, <coughs> tell me, you got something. I'm so happy. I'm happy. Sometimes y'all get stuff, y'all don't want to share it to people. Y'all be worried about somebody going to be jealous. Honey, <laughs> the devil wants you to be quiet about your blessings. He wants you to be quiet about your blessings. And then, the, so he can say, you see, God, people ain't being blessed. God been blessing some people and they're keeping it a secret. It's time to tell the world that my God is blessing me. My God is doing That's why you have testimonies. You go through trials and tribulations, you've been going through and now God has blessed you. Amen. You paid your tithe and now God has given you more. You, 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 you was obedient, you, you were supposed to sleep with that woman, you didn't sleep with that woman and God took you to another level. <coughs> you and your girlfriend are doing this and then instead of you getting caught up in the conversation and getting caught up in the drama and talk, you step aside or you would say, listen, I made a mistake. That ain't who I am. I'm somebody. I'm going somewhere. I'm a queen. And so I got to do what thus saith the Lord. This ain't thus what say Linda. This ain't about me. This confession I wrote back in 1982. And I can give you every word where I got it from in the Bible. Every word comes from the Bible. I just put it together and said it in a different way. But it's biblical. Even if you say this every day and believe it, baby, you'll be blessed for the rest of your life. People call me with big business. Girl, you remember that confession you gave me back in the 90s and the 80s? I've been saying that thing. I'm blessed. My children blessed. We got this. We're doing that. And thank you for that. Just for that. They just listened to that just like there and did it and it works. The word works for everybody. The vision, the visionary. Don't do not get connected with nothing that you don't listen and don't believe. And if why you marry a man, you don't listen, you can't, you, you can't. <laughs> Y'all can't come in agreement with nothing. What you get married for? Oh, come on, don't tell me just because he rocked your world. <coughs> It was just a feeling, no understanding, no communication, no, you don't even know where you're going. Well, I just, I just love you. I just want to be with you the rest of my life. You look so good. What we going to eat? Where we going to live? <laughs> what we going to do? You love me. Love is what love does. Amen? Last verse, and we're getting ready to get out of here. I'm a second. I got to slow you, slow you through these things because you, I want you to be blessed. I want you to know I'm sold out for you. I'm sold out to Christ for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn to 1 Corinthians 14, 32 and 33. Jesus had to ask his people, and I say this all the time, but I'm asking you today. This is what Jesus said. Now I'm asking you this. Are we there? The visionary. 
I have the mind of Christ. I'll tell you that when I get off track, I get back on the mind of Christ. That's who I am. I believe in faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I got foresight. I can see. You know, sometime when I first got here, I went to some of y'all before time because I see the gifts in you. I see what you're supposed to be doing. So I came and told you this is what you should do. You weren't ready for it. But I see it and I still see it because I have the ability to see inside, outside, and oversight. Amen? Amen? When you're not doing well, I smell you. When you're sinning, don't think you, you can fool so many people sometimes, but for God's people, baby, you can't fool all the time. You can't fool God's people. Don't think you, you're all dressed up and pretty and don't know you stink. Hallelujah. <laughs> you stink. You been wilding out there and gonna come dress up and say, oh, praise the Lord, you stink it. It don't work like that. It's time out. It's time for you to do what the Lord said. So you can go. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read that. It's a sad indictment when people come here and say, I'm, I want to join this church, but I can't join this church because of what I see in here on the outside. Not by me, but by your own people. The drama. If you're part of the drama team, wait till we're going to have a play. We're going to have a play. It's coming up on the 13th of February. I need the drummers. <laughs> They're in my play because you can act very well. That's the kind of drama you want to be involved with. Not the drama to make somebody feel bad, the drama to hurt somebody, the drama to talk, but the drama. You can, you, you know, after a while we keep doing we'll get paid for it. Amen? Amen? Go ahead. What the Lord reads, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to prophets. For God is not the author of confusion. This, the spirit, listen, if somebody come up in here, Dr. Rivers, Dr. Rivers got here before, when I, she got here when I left. While I was gone, she was operating him at the altar. Amen. Maurice called her to the altar, okay? And she prayed for people, and people called, oh, Dr. Rivers, Dr. Rivers. The gift, her gift, because of him, was knowing that the heart of the pastor and her gift came through the house to be able to be used in the house. Now, we have had people that come through here and your pastor say, no, they cannot speak. Oh, pastor, what? Pastor, you wrong for that. Pastor, you shouldn't have did that. Pastor, this is it. The Bible said the prophets, and they could be a prophet. They can have a gift. But what you just said, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to prophecy. The spirits, the gifts that come through here, are subject to the visionary. I'm the one to say, in operation, or not. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Everybody can't come in here and do anything they want to do. That's right. And if it slipped and happened, and it has, and I shut them down, don't get mad at me. It's all for your good. If you don't understand why I do something, holler at him, holler. I'm going to say it like this. Holler at a sister. My number is right there. Amen? God. Come on. Amen. For God is not the author of confusion. A confusion come about when you're talking behind me instead of to me. You're causing confusion. You're causing people not to want to come. If you sitting in a bar talking about something happening in your church that was not good, try to talk to your church. Not to the world. That's right. The Bible said, "Don't be a friend of the world." You trying? You you supposed to go into the world to win souls and make disciples. <coughs> That's why you in the world. I hope. I hope you ain't just really go. You know, I think people got twisted. Let me. I, I told my church when I first got here. I said, "Listen, we are a church that we go anywhere. We go in there to win souls." I think y'all got that thing twisted. If you out there in the club bopping and booping and doing all that. And you ain't winning no souls and making no disciples. You are a friend of the world. You are not out there for Christ. Stop tricking yourself. Stop tricking yourself. That is not the way God said. And if you can't go out there and be a decent woman or man, you don't need to be out there. You don't need to be there. If you can't do something and 